In this video, we will be designing this dynamic mega menu inside of Frema. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, before starting, let me first walk you through this short document on dynamic mega menu and then we will quickly jump on to the designing of it. Now I am on my Figma canvas. So here, uh, just a basic overview about this concept, some of uh, the things that you should know and some of my points that I want to share with you. Uh, once we are done with this, then we will quickly move on to the designing of it. So let's see, let's see this document first. So here I have just a basic uh, kind of a mega menu which I have created. So this is what we will be building. Uh, it's, it's just about what the content we will be adding to this uh, drop down, this mega menu, which will be including uh, some of the links and then uh, we will be having some cards. So the links would be of uh, my YouTube video. So whatever videos I have created till now, the links of it would be present there and the other two cards would be including the thumbnails and a YouTube, similar YouTube video of mine but in a card format. Uh, one would be the newest video and the other one would be the most recommended or most viewed one. So this is what is the concept uh, I have in building this mega menu and we will be adding some interactions, animations, hover over animations to it and we will be creating this a dynamic mega menu. So let's see uh, what are the steps to achieve this goal. So starting with basic uh, nav bar designing with logos and buttons. So we will just create a navigation bar and then create a drop down menu for single button and then converting them into reusable com components. So uh, this basically means we will be creating uh, one concept and then we will uh, create this as a component so that we can use the multiple variants of it as well if you want to use uh, throughout our project. Then we will be adding necessary components to the menu like cards, trigger. So whatever uh, kind of concept or whatever kind of uh, component we want to add to this uh, menu, we can add that as well. And then finally, we will be working on to the final animations and interactions. So this is basically an overall flow of what we will be designing further in this video. Now let's see uh, some of the inspirations. Uh, I have taken some screenshots of this example. Uh, this is not a new concept. This concept is gaining kind of tractions in recent times and people are using it on their websites. Here are some screenshot. I have taken this screenshot uh, from some of the templates that are present on Framer's own website. I have a screenshot of Framer's own website as well. So you can just check that out. Uh, this is basically uh, this kind of feature is already in use so we are going to create fun of it and then just quick uh, points uh, I want to discuss with you I want to share with you regarding this uh, mega menus is uh, concept of mega menu is to create an elaborative form of menu drop down whatever you want to say uh, major aim is to provide wholesome experience to the user when he or she lands on this on this so it, it just provides you an added experience this is something which is new and uh, a more elaborative form of menu so it's just do an uh, added user experience uh, it's just transitioning from normal standard menus to dynamic mega menus uh, soon to be a benchmark so very soon this will be a standard right and this is kind of an extend wor extended version of bento grid concept so here similarly on to uh, if you see some of the examples so this can be uh, kind of created in the form of bento grids a bento grids is also a very smart way of providing a larger form of information in a grid concept so this is basically an extended version of bento grid large form of information in compact format so this, this is it from this uh, documentation or kind of brief overview of about your menus and now let's jump onto the design. Right now I am on my framework canvas and firstly I will start by adding a basic menu drop down. So here we can see an option of menu. We have plethora of options available to choose from. We have of course the light mode, dark mode. We will select this subline menu option and directly add it onto the top of the button. 
Okay, so now let's give this a preview. The menu drop down is working well. Okay, so this was the first step towards achieving our design. Now let's move on to the next steps. Now let's dive deep into each of the sections. Here I want to add in this mega menu. Firstly, we will start by editing the text link section and then we will move on to adding the cards to this mega menu. Here I am adding icon to this text combination and doing the required changes as well. Now let's convert this overall stack to a component and uh, let's play around with the states and animations of it. Here I am converting the title and the subtitle of this text section as a variable so we can use it with different kinds of text or we can add different kinds of uh, description and text to this text section as well. Now let's go back to our canvas and make the changes in our uh, drop down menu. Okay, so now let's give this a preview and see whether the things are working well or not. And uh, yeah, so the things are working well. Here I am adding a second row of text section as well in this menu. Let's give this a preview as well and good the preview is working well the navigation and the mega menu is also working well. Now let's add the card image to this navigation drop down menu. For this we will start by creating a card adding image to it then converting it as a component and then work with different states and animations we will follow the similar process as we did earlier. Uh, so I am just speeding up the pace of this video and uh, also similar to the text section we will add the image here as a variable so that we can reuse it with different kinds of images in our drop down menu. Now let us add the image component on our mega drop down menu. We will just go on to our assets panel and we will just drag and drop the image card onto our uh, menu and we will then play around with the placement and alignment and all the other stuffs. Once we are done with it, let's give this a preview and see whether things are working well or not and uh, the things are working well. And here we will add link to the card which we created. So this card becomes a working. We will just copy and paste the link, uh, whichever link we want to add and we will just have a preview of it as well. So the link is added. Now let's add custom cursor to this mega drop down menu. So for this we will first create the design that we want to add as a custom cursor. Then we will convert the design that we created as a component and then from the options panel on the right side we can pick and add a custom cursor to our design. Let's give this a preview and uh, things are working well. The custom cursor is also working well. Now let's move on to the next part of this video. Okay, so now let's take this thing to a whole new different level and uh, add some dynamic features to this mega menu. Here I want to add a ticker effect inside my dynamic mega menu. So how we can do that? Let's see. So let's start by adding a frame and adding our image to it. We will make some changes in the specifications as well. Now let's create this frame as a component and then add a ticker effect to this card. We will just place the ticker component from our insert menu to this frame will, we will play around with the required specifications as well and now let's add the 50% off 
tag or frame whichever you want to call uh, to it and uh, now also add a hover over state as well to it and then give it a preview so this card is working well the preview thing is working well uh, we can just play around with the specifications of uh, the ticker as, as well i have deleted the space between individual components and re uh, remove the gap and padding as well as per my requirement and uh, this is basically the card which has been developed now let's add this card to our navigation or, or, or the mega drop down menu okay so here we will just select our component that we have created from our assets panel and we will directly place it on our mega menu we will work around with some uh, gap and uh, make some minor changes in the specifications and then we will just give this a preview see the things are working well and uh, this is what i meant by adding some animations and interactions and dynamic effect to mega menu also we will add some custom cursors as well so here i will add a custom cursor of few slots left to the sticker card and uh, just to enhance some user experience let's give this a preview and this is what the final dynamic mega menu drop down looks like this is what i was talking about and uh, this is something which i wanted to share with you regarding this dynamic mega menu now the canvas is open things are under your control now use your creativity and explore this concept to the fullest all right so that's it from this video i'll see you next time with some more amazing web design ui ux framework related tutorials and concepts and remember one thing web designing is simple so let's keep it simple and let's make it simple bye